Hello guys, uh, in this video you are going to see how to integrate uh, OpenAPI latest version, I mean OpenAPI Open 3 with the Spring Boot C++, okay. So currently I am on the uh, on the library for OpenAPI 3 with Spring Boot by Nas Lesson. And this pro project is sponsored by giant companies such as uh, 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 Mercedes, DMTAC, Control Security, I have no idea about these two. Okay. And so uh, in, the, in this video, we are let me we will see how to integrate. Okay, so here they have the they clearly mentioned here to start with to uh, add Swagger. You need to add this dependency to your applications. Here I have a simple uh, library management application. Here I need to, I want to. So in this application, I already have added uh, JWT Spring Security. Okay. So with that, how to how to access uh, Spring, uh, Open API? We go, we are going to see that. So now, let me add this dependency. And before I have added this dependency, that's why it's not loading. So while you add this dependency, you make sure one thing that you have re reload the Maven. Okay. And then so. Let me show you my, my version, which version I am currently using. The I am using Spring version 3.0.2, okay. And for Java, I am using 11. Okay. After that, what do you have to add? After that, uh, so uh, uh, just after that, uh, what you have to do? Just rerun the project and up and and uh, and uh, go to this URL. So before that, you need to add some uh, some annotation here for Open API. Title of four years so I got UI. And what we have here is that's a version I want to add. And if you want to add description, then you can add that too also. Here, management. So far, so good. Now. For, uh, for uh, since my project is containing Spring Security, so uh, you need to add some uh, path. Uh, you need to add some path and also permit them. Okay. So while you access the uh, access the swagger, it should not disturb your uh, your uh, use. I mean, it should not block you from accessing your swagger. So for that, I already have written over here. to my security class okay, so uh, you while you, if your project contain spring security then you must add this following path okay after that just add them here Request matcher and pass this variable path list and then permit all of them. So any request uh, comes uh, or any request come uh, to this follows following path, then it should not block you. Think security should ignore the uh, security for, uh, context. Okay. Mm, then 
Let me read on. Check. to the up and running okay so after that uh, by default you can you can have access to the swagger on this url or unless if you want your custom path then you can define that too so likewise you need to add this uh, this uh, this path into your uh, your application uh, properties okay so i do i'm i'm ignoring this part okay if you want if you want your your own road then you can have you can add that that and and then try so yes so my application is running on this 880 port so let me try to run, try to access so got, so the default path would be down then so I got UI to the path let me copy so here if uh, I did not add any context path so for now, I'm using local host. My application is running on local. Okay. Yes, it's loading, it's loading. Okay. So here I can see all the uh, all the uh, rest and find in, on in uh, on this uh, screen. Okay. So Swagger actually basically used to centralize all your API at one place so that you don't have to open each and every class and to access your uh, your uh, your endpoints. Okay, so this is how you can you can you can you can add uh, Swagger to use latest Spring Boot applications and also you can also avoid the security uh, principle. Uh, by by adding following those uh, path and permit them into a security okay so likewise you can add that too so for now this is it, this is it and and uh, and okay bye bye till then see you in the next video and keep learning